you guys. Laurie, no possession earlier it was obviously going to make it very difficult. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was always going to be a, a difficult night, Dean. Um, obviously, um, you, know, you need some things to go your way. It didn't happen. Queensland were just too good. That's what happens sometimes at Origin. You knew they were going to come out fast. Did you expect it to be that fast and that quick? Oh, when you got that much possession, most definitely. Um, um, you know, it's hard to contain great players. Um, you know, they were full of enthusiasm. Um, too good. No excuses. Laurie, why was the start, start so slow for you, boys? Because you started so well game one, you got it right. What, what can you put your finger on here? Oh, look, we had no possession. Um, I think when you have no possession, um, it uh, makes you fatigue. Um, so for us, as I say... You know, it's a tough game, no excuses, we move on. We, we've earned, well, we, we've earned the right to, to go to game three. We had a good performance in game one. Um, we're off our game tonight, a touch, but um, the opposition were very good, so full credit to them. What do you think I can't give you an honest answer. No I can't give you an honest answer. Is the silent majority being ignored here, Laurie? Are, are the fans being ignored? Can't give you an honest answer. What about the um, the early decisions in the first ten minutes? Um, the Jennings decision on, on Thurston from the kick, when he was penalised for a late Look. challenge. No excuses from us. Okay, but in the context of that opening onslaught, was that a big penalty? Oh, look, I could go through a number of things and nitpick, but it's not what we're about. Laurie, we you... um, congratulate the winners. We move forward. If they're going to send in blokes that throw a punch, could Billy have gone through his elbow to Mitchell? Look, it was striking. Uh, Mitchell's going to receive some stitches. I know that Greg Bird <clears throat> was sin bin for not throwing a punch. <laughs> Gail, what's your take on it? It's embarrassing, really, isn't it? I, mean, you know, I said out there in the third, I didn't see if Justin Hodges threw punches, but this game's been so great for 108 years to come and change it. I know it's probably longer than 108 years, I don't know. Origin's been around, it's been a tough game, you know. No one goes out there to fight. But sometimes they're a bit of the X factor in the game. And look, the, to be honest, the penalty could have been blown against Brent Tate for pushing me out of ruck, and that should have been where it ended. But um, well, anyway. I don't like you. Lots yeah. going on. <laughs> 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 I'll have to be the last one to get stuck in my head. It's just the way it is now. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with us. But, but it's, it's, um, you know, it's certainly going to be a talking point. I, I don't think Hodges or Birdie should have been Simeon. Like I said, I didn't see Hodges from Hodges. I don't think he's still punched. Yeah, I'm not sure. If, you, if you're going to go by the letter of the law as it is now, probably this is the only one you should have seen. Gal, you, everyone knew, knew what the edict was. As soon as Trent threw those punches, you must have taken things. Yeah, look, I, at, at first, like, like I said, Tate pushed me, and I, I didn't actually see him throw punches, and they were sort of just grabbing each other, so it was just a bit of a melee grabbing each other, and then obviously when, when it all blew up. Uh, I, I think, I think what happened was, um, you know, it played in great spirit, and then um, I think... Our boys got a bit rolled because um, Mitch copped the uh, something off Billy uh, that went went um, not unnoticed, but um, nothing happened. Did, did you give them any instructions before the game about not being? Oh no, we just spoke about being disciplined. Are you disappointed in, in Trent Merrin that no. you knew that that was a result? Of no, 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 no. I thought he was great tonight for his miss. But he could have left you with twelve on thirteen. Could have done. Billy could have left them with 12 on 13 as well when we were down in the attacking zone and we were coming back. So no one goes out there intentionally to fight. So I, I don't know who makes that up. I don't know whether it's coming from from whoever, but it happens. It's a tough sport and things things can go astray. And, yeah, I just know that no one goes out there to, to fight. If they did... It'll be on in the first tackle. Well, this is what we all think. I would like to see them reconsider. But again, you know, um, 
to stop for me to, to uh, make those rules. That's for, uh, others. Paul, was one of the positives for you tonight that you didn't throw a punch? <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He was on his best behaviour. I've never gone in a single game of footy that before. Okay, what was the first 20 minutes like? Yeah, look, they started 100 miles an hour. We knew they would. Um, first 20 minutes, we had a really good crowd. Yeah, it's good. Good crowd. Yeah, good crowd. Yeah, good crowd. 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 When yep. you say that was always going to happen with them getting the rub of the green, is that from previous experience up here that you just... Yeah, straight? looking at their home soil and we won game one and there was plenty of talk in the media about the referees and, you know, we knew that. Look, everyone wants to see a decider, don't they? You know, they've got a decider, so we go back to Sydney, one all, and, um, yeah, we're just going to regroup, stay positive. You know, they, they, I think they had nine, was it nine extra sets of six by half time, so in, in good ball area, so... To come in 14 and kneel down, we're probably not in too bad a position. Is there a suggestion at all, everyone wants to see a decider, that that extends beyond the fans? And... No. No, 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 no. Tiao, when did you feel the game go past that tipping point that you were just giving up too much possession and there's too much going against you as far as the ball and all that? Um, pro oh. But to be honest, I thought that the last 20 minutes, I think, they get about 20 nil or 20 minutes to go, possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought that we really had to start picking up then, and we did a little bit, and then we got back to 20 to six. But oh, look, we just we just weren't ourselves tonight. Let's let's be honest. They were too good first half, faster than us in every area, and you know, I could sit here and make excuses all night, but but we won't. We just we weren't good enough. What yeah. do you do differently in game three to change that? Then, I mean, you say you came here, you knew what they're going to do, but you couldn't change it. How do you reverse the form in game three? You got to get some ball. Yeah. Got to get some ball, and um, if you trade sets, um, we're confident they will go well. Lauren, Nathan, Nathan, Nathan Merritt um, just quickly had a tough night. He came in in defence twice. Was that the plan to jam yeah. Greg Inglis? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't it? Nathan's fault. Which was was us. It was me. What was um, Luke Lewis and his, and his shoulder? Laurie seemed to carry it a bit there in the second half. A bit, you know. What oh, I think it was just a burner. I don't think it was too serious. I think we pulled up all right, actually. I know we received too many injuries, so... Um, yeah, we may have a couple of guys coming back for game three, so... There you go. Laurie, you make is, is, is Nathan's position, position safe for game three, Nathan Merritt? Oh, it's a hard question, mate. <laughs> First up, I mean, I, you've got to go and review things, and we don't know who's coming back. Um, um, obviously, you know, we'd like to think that, that Jared will come back in and... Jimmy Tamo would be around the money. We don't know what's happened with Fergo. So, um, but I was I was happy with with the commitment of our guys. Um, I think at times people don't give uh, a team big enough credit for their effort, um, even though on the scoreboard it, it might have looked um, looked uh, one way traffic in the first half. But be, to be only be down by fourteen, that's a that's a good effort. I think the one stage there we were six. Sets in a row on our line. Um, I think if you do that, uh, you take the gas out of the opposition. And, but you know they played with control, and you know they're they're a, they're a great side. They don't want to relinquish their title. We got no complaints. They were great. Laurie, how much did it worry you that they were much like the Queensland of the past seven years tonight than they were in game one? Because oh yeah, but we weren't anything like what New South Wales can be in game one this year. So. That's irrelevant, mate. For, for me, I know what this team can do. I know we can play a lot better. Um, so we'll see how we go in game three, I suppose. What'd you make of the other debut on the story? Uh, the Woodsy was good. Um, Aaron Woods is a great runner of the footy. I'm not saying he can't can't tackle, but his opening 15, 20 minutes was all about defence. So he couldn't really give us a, a great opportunity of what he can do with the ball. Um, again, that's origin. Uh, look, it's it's a tough game. Uh, you're going to dust yourself off and we'll, we'll move on. As I say, we, we full, full uh, credit to Queensland. They were too good. We cop it on the chin. We move on. And we'll be ready to go game three. Did you find a place for Josh Durgan in game three? I thought he's very good. I thought he's very good. So, 
Uh, again, you know, it's something that we'll have to consider. You know, Haynes has been a strong performer in different positions for New South Wales. Um, so if he comes back, we'll see. Um, too early to sort of speculate on um, changes. And, and to be honest with you, I don't think there'll be too many. I'm confident in this group. And got plenty of belief. Um, we played well in game one. It wasn't our night tonight, so... I think everyone's looking forward to game three. Oh, Last one. Mate, I'm not here to make excuses, mate. You know, we we didn't play well enough. Um, so for us, we we as I say, we we move forward. We'll be right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay.